How's it going, everybody? We're gonna hack, we're gonna hack. So hopefully everybody's uh, installed and flashed the new codename Android ROM for the Motorola Atrix. And if you have or haven't, we're gonna do this video review anyways. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, codename Android is a ROM that us Atrix users, in fact, I never even knew existed, um, but for us Atrix users, we haven't even seen any uh, variations of it at all like we have with um, Sandage Mod and, and so on. Now, they are similar in the respect that, well, one, they're both using uh, Android Ice Cream Sandwich, um, but also because it um, has a lot of customization options just like Sandage Mod 9. However, uh, Codename Android has kind of taken it a step further and uh, their amount of customization options is beyond that of normal custom ROMs. I mean, like it's almost reminiscent of like some earlier Sandage Mod um, version of uh, ROMs you know, with like just the huge amount of options, except the thing is, is that with all the old Sandage Mod ROMs, it had so many options, you know, so many of them I didn't even understand. Actually, most of them I didn't understand, and, you know, as a result, I didn't use them, and I kind of got overwhelmed almost, and that's, you know, a guy who's, you know, been playing with Android um, customizations for a long time now, and I just got a little overwhelmed with it, which is actually why I like what how they've scaled it back a bit with um, Sandage Mod 9. They've kind of taken out all those options that 90% of the people out there don't use and um, really kept all the good ones. Except uh, Codename Android here, what they've done is they've, you know, taken all kinds of different customizations and so many of them but I actually am interested in using 90% of these customizations. It's just insane. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at um, some of the obvious changes right now. Now, first of all, um, Sandage Mod 9 comes with their uh, Trebuchet launcher, which is their kind of official um, Sandage Mod new home launcher for ice cream sandwich. Uh, Codename Android, it comes with the stock ice cream sandwich launcher. So very AOSP feel right off the bat. Um, as you'll notice, right up here on the top there, I've got, that's the, um, the battery graph bar. So if you don't want, you know, your standard uh, battery indicator, you can go for the bar. So I've kind of done, a whole, as soon as I got my hands in this ROM and I started going through the settings, uh, it was just like, I just started doing all kinds of stuff. So um, it starts out with a bunch of home screens, whatever. I've removed it down to like two. Um, so taking a look in the uh, app drawer here, just kind of briefly show you. Um, comes obviously very, very basic. You're obviously going to want to flash one of the G app packages. Uh, I recommend Joker Sax version 11, for those of you wondering. Now, for the good stuff, let's go ahead and get into the um, settings. Oh, and before we do that, I just want to show you what the uh, uh, status bar looks like there. So, pretty similar. Um, also, you're able to customize your carrier, although, uh, you know, in, in some situations, I can still see my Bell logo. But, nevertheless, I thought it was pretty cool that you can kind of personalize it like that. So, anyways, jumping into settings. Starting from the top, um, you got your basic Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. But where the real fun comes in is in interface. This is where you're probably going to find most of the customization options that you're going to want to be messing with. Um, so just to go over a few of the really, really cool ones, uh, go into the power menu. Now the power menu is like when you hold down the power button, like I'm doing here, you can customize what is in there. And as you can see, unlike Sandage Mod or other uh, custom ROMs, you know, we don't have things like the torch and other stuff. You can input uh, profiles, things like that. I didn't know what the heck navigation bar was. This is actually for, let's say, for instance, if you do have like a, um, you know, a Nexus, a Galaxy Nexus or something like that. Um, obviously, these won't do anything for us. So, uh, you know, you can just remove that. But, you know, that's down here. So if I remove that, I'll bring this up again. Whoops. Come on, portrait. There we go. And now that navigation thing is gone. Notification widget. Um, battery widget, you can customize that. Again, you can see the, um, you can change the icon style, all these options here. Uh, battery bar location, change where you want to put it. You can have it in the notification bar at the top there, all that good stuff. Battery bar style, so center mirrored. Um, I'm assuming that would mean that it starts working, like as your battery starts draining, it starts working from the outside towards the in. Um, so that's kind of neat. Neat little option. Uh, battery bar thickness, I've got mine set to 4DP. 
you can set it all the way to one if you like and then it gets smaller but I like to be able to see it. Battery bar color obviously you can change the color of that as well so which is pretty neat. This is a neat one. Um, <clears throat> so in the lock screen you know it's got the little ring where you hold down the button before you slide it and you can set a number of targets. You can set up to eight. That's different types of actions like apps and stuff like that that you can customize on the lock screen. I have four set up right now um, but you can go all the way up to eight which is just crazy. Uh, lock screen layout, there's a bunch of customization options, big clock or smaller clock, you can have it centered and stuff like that. Um, here's the apps that you would choose, the area to choose the different apps, custom SMS app. So here's another one, um, navigation bar, menu visibility, you know, you can change, change all that good stuff. Uh, menu location, which I thought was neat. Uh, number of navigation buttons and so on and so forth. Um, all right. So automatic backlight, you can obviously set that, it's kind of similar to San Engine Mod. LED Pulse is a really neat uh, customization feature I like. So uh, you can choose the duration for how long, every time you receive a notification, the LED starts blinking, you can choose how long to set it. I have mine set to five seconds because when I'm looking at the computer, um, whenever things are flashing around on the screen, it often reflects onto the device itself, and I often think I'm getting a message or something like that, and I go and check, and no, there's nothing there. People hate me. So uh, I like to make darn sure now, so it stays on for five seconds, and if I see in the corner of my eye that this green light is on for you know five seconds, then I know I've got a message. And in addition to that, you can also uh, select how long it stays off for. So you know you can the big amount of um, uh, options there for you to choose from as well as the LED color, which um, you know I wouldn't expect to get exactly what's in the aspect here. Also in general settings, there's a whole bunch of other options. Um, USB fast charge, now I'm not too sure what this is, I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm going to assume, and please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I'm going to assume that um, this somehow, I guess, I don't know, unlocks or uncaps the amount of voltage that's the voltage that's allowed to go in when you're charging it through USB. That's what I'm guessing, but I don't know because I ha don't know too much about this ROM and I haven't investigated it too much. This is a, this is a first for me. Uh, so anyways, enable volume options, obviously um, volume open slider, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, you're right, right. That's what this one was. So uh, this option here, as soon as you press the volume button, obviously you're going to get your standard uh, sort of little vol volume bar there but you go ahead and press the settings option and bam all of a sudden all of the options pop up you know your in call um, sound you know blah 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 notifications alarm so I thought that was a really neat feature uh, there is your custom carrier label which I've already entered the smoking Android uh, status bar transparency you know horizontal recent windows so like a web OS task style um, and uh, auto hide combined bar now another one, a big one, is uh, performance. So in here you're going to do a whole lot of stuff, kind of reminiscent of earlier Cyanogen Mod 9 builds, or sorry, Cyanogen Mod 7 builds with all of its performance options. Um, this one's got some really neat ones. Startup tweak, so you can um, tweak what happens uh, when it boots up, so zip align, APKs, enable SD boost, fix permissions, clear cache, you can have it so it clears cache every single time it reboots, um, all kinds of other cool stuff. Um, you can also disable the boot animation for a faster boot up time. And of course, you're going to want to really be careful with all of these settings in here just because it is not even a release candidate yet. It's I'm going to assume still in beta, even though I don't think it says beta last time I checked where you download it from. Um, but uh, yeah, so you're just going to want to be careful in here. Uh, it's got quiet hours, a launcher, a bunch of obvious settings in here. I mean, it's a stock ice cream sandwich launch. Uh, sound, there's a bunch of new ringtones, notification sounds, good stuff like that. Display is really neat. Uh, one thing about the brightness is the um, capacitive buttons tend to turn off on themselves and uh, in order to re-enable them all you gotta do is just turn automatic brightness on and back off again or back on and uh, you know Bob's your uncle there. Um, another cool thing is the Screen Candy. Now what Screen Candy is, is basically a screen saver. Um, so if I was to go ahead and turn it on, you, it'll, uh, you can select the Screen Candy that you want, you know, a clock or a uh, rocket launcher, stuff like that. So I'll click uh, rocket launcher and we'll try it. And after a certain amount of uh, your determined inactivity, this is the screen that will come up. It's, uh, you know, it's a screen saver. So we'll go ahead and try the other one here, like uh, Nyan. And that is your screensaver. Obviously, in security is where you'd be setting up, you know, your uh, screen lock and stuff like that. Um, 
I believe face lock does work, so yay. Um, obviously camcorder doesn't work on this, just like it doesn't work on the Sandage Mod 9 ROMs. Now some really neat uh, features here in developer options. You go into developer options and you know, you've got ADB debugging, ADB over network, stuff like that, root access, apps only, you can control all that stuff there. Uh, strict mode, you can show the touches, show the CPU usage, show GPU rendering, all in a bunch of little sort of um, little bits of information will start showing in the corners of the screens. I mean, you can really, really get down to the nitty gritty here. And then um, finally, going into advanced testing. This is what I thought was really interesting. Heading right into the build.prop settings right here. Um, you can start doing stuff right away. And of course, they're going to give you a proceed with caution. And I strongly recommend proceeding with caution, especially right now, considering this build isn't completely uh, finished. So um, please be careful with doing this. I really hope I don't hear you guys being like, how the hell do I fix my phone? I totally effed it up. Uh, so in here, you've got LCD density, Wi-Fi scan interval. Um, you can change the uh, Delvic uh, cache heap size, uh, telephone ringer delay, I've never even seen that customization option before, uh, proximity sensor delay, uh, you can change the build number if you want, 3G speed hack, and GPU acceleration. I did have some, uh, some issues when I enabled the GPU rendering, um, as well as the with the 2, 2D app rendering or whatever. Um, and it would lag uh, one of the games that I downloaded, and I don't know if it's because of the kernel that I'm running, um, or if it's because the game just isn't compatible with this uh, build of this ROM. So anyways guys, that is it. It's a fantastic ROM, um, tons of customization options. This is now my daily driver, uh, so you're probably gonna be seeing a lot more of this, provided it does let me do app reviews on it, because if I can't load apps on it, there's no point in keeping the ROM. But um, nevertheless, guys, that is it. I hope you liked this video. Please give us a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to head on over to our uh, website over at thesmokingandroid.com for some uh, further unplugged reviews, if you will. <laughs> and um, that's basically it. I hope you all enjoy your weekend. Here's a great ROM for you to start off your weekend with and uh, get to it. All right, guys, till next time. Make sure you subscribe, by the way. Yeah. Till next time, the Smoking Android signing out. See you later, guys.